Martin with you. If you're heading out around the state this long weekend, please be careful. That's the message from SA Police and the RAA, with most of the fatal crashes on our roads this year happening in rural areas. The RAA's Charles Mountain says it can be really challenging driving in the country. We do know that fatigue and distraction are key contributors to crashes occurring, particularly on our regional road network. And obviously for longer distances people tend to travel means that it's even more important to ensure that you take regular rest breaks. Three Aboriginal soldiers who served in the World Wars will finally have their grave sites marked. Frank Owen, Alfred Walker, John Brett and John Westbury are all buried around the region at unmarked sites. But Aboriginal Veterans SA will formally dedicate the graves during a visit later this month. The organisation is also planning visits to local schools. Briefly, SA Power Networks is reporting an outage affecting Compton up to Barangal. Almost 300 people are affected. Power should be restored by 1.30 this afternoon. And Regional Development Minister Claire Scriven is the only local politician not to have signed a petition to see through a $4.3 million radiation service. She's maintained the money would be reallocated to a range of cancer services after concerns from the local health network around staffing and care capacity issues. MPs Troy Bell, Tony Passon, Nick McBride and Ben Hood have signed their names to the petition. After this, there is no turning back. You sip the red can, the story ends. You sip the black can, you enter dreamland. And I show you just how good the truth can taste. Max Taste Challenge. The Barber Shield will soon be in the hands of either East Gambia or West this weekend's grand final, kicking off at 1 pm tomorrow at Fru Park. West Gambia Club President Tony Geddes says the roster will look slightly different for the two dayer. We've had one injury, a uh, bloke was hurt at work, so we've had to bring a young fella up from the B grade, so that's given him an opportunity. I think they trained last night just to probably sharpen up their fielding and a bit of batting and bowling. Together with Beyond Blue, Australia Post is delivering the goods by connecting millions of households with mental health information. It's another way Australia Post is delivering for Australia. <laughs> Selling the family home, Miller, Juan and John put you first. This is SAFM Weather. The slight chance of rain across the limestone coast today, 22 degrees. And a late shower expected tomorrow, 22 again. Want more local news? Get free breaking news about our community. Download the Listener app. Search for your town and add to your favourites now. <laughs> <laughs>